guys! Welcome to my week 7 pregnancy update. Yes, I am 7 weeks pregnant and right now the baby is the size of a blueberry. Um, when I read this, I just thought that was really cool because it was something that I could actually, you know, visualize. You know, before this it was a lentil or a sesame seed and like, yeah, you can kind of picture it, but blueberries, like we have that in our fridge all the time. And so I can just look at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe like it's that big now. Um, the biggest thing on week seven is about the same thing that week six was and it is nausea. Uh, my nausea is kicking my butt. It is not, oh, it's just morning sickness and then I get over it. No, it is all day, every day morning sickness. Um, it really affects my appetite because um, I feel nauseous and so I don't want to eat anything. Well then I don't eat anything and instead of hunger pains I just get more severe nausea and um, I'm just miserable. I just can't find anything that I like to eat. Nothing sounds good. Um, I have been eating watermelon. That's like the one thing that I can get down and I have been eating it like crazy. Thank goodness it's summer right now. Um, but watermelon is my go-to. I just eat that like crazy. I love it. I can't get enough of it. So watermelon has been a real big help. But really I haven't been able to find anything else to help my nausea. Um, just today I went to the store and I got um, this band. They're called C-Bands. Um, I was reading them online and uh, they are just like more for acupuncture and you know that you just have one on either wrist and you just um, put it on a specific part of your wrist and it's supposed to restore balance and um, make your nausea go away. I just put them on so I don't know if they're working yet or not but I'm hoping anything helps. Um, next week is my first um, pregnancy appointment and so I'm really hoping there I can uh, get some suggestions of maybe some medications or, or something to help because it's just it's kicking my butt. Um, the nausea it's just been a low dull nausea I just can't kick it it's not I've never I have not puked yet um, nothing that severe I almost kind of wish that I would puke because then maybe I would just get it over with um, it's just a bummer and it's really been a struggle for me because you know I'm dealing with nausea and if you know me I just have zero pain tolerance so anything that goes wrong with me I just want a quick fix and I want to be able to you know have medication and just get rid of it but I can't because I'm pregnant um, and so it's it's frustrating and um, I'm really emotional um, I will just start crying at the littlest things um, and so, you know, I got really emotional the other day with my nausea. It was kind of worse than just the dull ache that it usually is. And so I was just feeling really emotional. Um, and uh, I, I just, I get so hard on myself because I follow some vloggers on YouTube where they can't conceive themselves and they're going through infertility issues. And so it makes me think um, that, you know, why am I taking it out on my, you know, why am I complaining and acting like this is so hard when, like, some people can't even get pregnant. And so it really puts me in a different place and a different position and different thoughts. But this nausea, it is kicking my butt. Um, so that's the biggest thing. Um, I am pretty emotional. This week I'm actually not thirsty at all. So the first couple weeks of pregnancy, I couldn't get enough water. I was just drinking, drinking, drinking. I would go through like several cups. I mean, it was just crazy. Now I have to like force myself to drink. I just don't want to drink anything. I don't want water. I don't want, you know, the only thing that really ever sounds good to me is lemonade. And it's like the fresh stuff is my favorite now. I love fresh lemonade. I love fresh watermelon, fresh fruit. I'm just loving it. So that's really kind of funny. Um, I really haven't really had any food cravings. I mean watermelon I guess because I really like it and it seems to be the only thing I can eat. Um, but yeah, the nausea kind of curves any of my cravings because anytime I think of any type of food it just makes me want to puke. So, um, the other day I did get a really big craving for a chocolate chip cookie and Cheetos, um, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I have to have it right then and there. So, I don't know if it really was a craving, 
And food aversions wise, I don't really think I've been having any food aversions. The thought of broccoli really doesn't sound good to me, although before I was pregnant I really didn't like broccoli. So I'm, again, I'm not sure if that's a food aversion or it's just something I didn't like and since I'm nauseous I really don't like it. So that's kind of where I am with cravings and food aversions. I'm really excited for next week because like I said, it is our first pregnancy appointment. We're gonna go um, to the doctor. Anthony is um, taking off a uh, half day off of work so he can uh, join me and so I'm really excited. Um, we still have not told anyone. I have not seen my parents and we have not seen Anthony's parents since we found out we were pregnant and so we're still keeping it to ourselves. Only Anthony and I know right now. Um, so it's, we're just keeping it a secret. It's really hard not to tell anyone. Um, I'm hoping to see my parents soon so that I can break the news and then I can tell my siblings and Anthony's parents and his sibling and just get people in the know. I did hear or see uh, on some video that week seven is the highest risk of miscarriage. So that kind of puts me on edge a little bit, you know, especially because I'll still get a little bit of cramping here or there and it freaks me out because I'm like, oh my gosh, am I gonna miscarry, you know? So that's been a little worrisome. I still really don't feel pregnant. Um, I, you know, especially since I haven't told anyone, it really hasn't set in yet. Um, I'll show you uh, my week seven uh, belly. Again, there's really not much going on with it. Um, so here it is from the side, from the front. Whew. And from the side, I just think it's still a lot of bloating. Like I just really don't see a difference. Um, so, there it is, and there's Felix, hi Felix. So that is my um, belly profile, again I really don't see much difference, um, but again I don't think I'm supposed to see any difference until the second trimester anyway which I am not close to. So I read somewhere that the nausea that I'm experiencing I will continue to experience it until 14 weeks. So I still have another like seven weeks to go. Um, I'm dreading this. I'm just hoping to find some alternative. That finishes my um, seven week update. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for next week. I'm really excited. I'll have more information because I'll be able to tell you guys about our doctor's appointment and I really, really hope that I will have an ultrasound picture and show you a picture of the baby. So stay tuned for that guys. Bye.